Okay, wait, this thing freaking drives like a dream. What have I done? <laughs> that was an accident, guys. Hello, everyone. It is Dirk Dirk, and I thought I would do a frame placement guide because I do get a lot of questions about how to build with frames to the best of your abilities. And I'm not an amazing expert, but I can definitely show you what I know. So on stream, my friend Splatikick gave me this thing and had some questions. So I thought this would be a good example to show you guys how to start building your frames. So I didn't have a lot of stuff, including the blight cab. So bear with me for one second. There we go. Now I'll just strip off all the stuff and we'll just talk about the frames today. So the first thing you want to do when building frames is check your work and how you do that is just randomly take off some pieces and see what else falls off so for example bam i discovered that everything is hanging on this one frame which is usually the sign of something bad you never want to have all your junk just fall off from one hit from below so i'll be using a random term redundancy just to talk about adding more frames than you normally would so that if something falls off you'll still have part of your build remaining and before I do that we do have two basic kind of frames you have light frames and regular frames these guys are a bit heavier more HP these guys are less HP but lighter and they both pass through a lot of damage so in general I would say personally go with these regular frames unless you really really do need to reduce your weight somehow then go to your light frames also it depends on what your frames do so if everything is hanging on this one frame i'd want that frame to have more hp you know what i mean and the stuff on the sides that don't really matter as much that can probably be a light frame okay moving on so what do we do so also notice that the wheels are attached to one little frame over here which means that when you lose a frame the wheel is gone and your vehicle is in kind of bad shape so other thing i would suggest is make sure if possible to make sure that the frames that are attached to your wheel also attaches to your cab because remember your cab is the last thing standing so if things not attached to the cab will probably you'll probably lose first so with that in mind, let's go over here and kind of take out some of these frames the way they are now. All right, so I want to attach these wheels to the cabin, if possible. So I'm going to start by doing this. So that was a pretty quick fix. Now I have frames that are attached to the cab. And now let's add some redundancy. So what if the frame is shot off? I lose a tire, right? Well, there is another weld point right over here on this tire. So if I add a frame right here, this tire is attached to two separate frame pieces. That way, if it loses one of them, it kind of still remains. Remember, things get blown off in this game. So you want to make sure that if something gets blown off, you have a chance. Let's go for the back wheels now. Now, the back wheels right now are attached to nothing. They kind of miss the cab and they're only attached by these two thin ones. So once again, let's attach these legs to the cab. We can do that. And notice in this case, I don't have room because of the generator. So what I did for him was I just kind of moved this generator down one space. So now it's actually below the frames. And now I've got a frame attaching to the cab. And there you have it. So again, let's talk about some redundancy. So I will move these frames up one. And now I can put one more frame to link both of these legs together. There we go. So if I lose one frame, I still don't lose everything. All right, so those are frames that are cleaned up. Now, obviously frames can do more than just stick on wheels. They can also be used for some kind of spaced armor and to just cover up stuff and to also hide these little exploity bits down here. So that's a separate lesson. Remember, your exploity bits will blow up and they probably will destroy some frames. And I guess that's a different lesson. But what I can do is just add more frames and connect everything together as much as I can. So I can link these frames together.
That way if I lose stuff on one side, I still have all my wheels. That's not too bad. And again, these right here are for spaced armor. And if you want to go crazy, you can kind of extend them out some more and put some bumpers over there. And of course, you can have frames in the front. And that's good for attaching bumpers and blades and all kinds of good stuff. So remember, when you're building at first, usually you make a donut kind of a shape because this is a great place to hide your modules. You can put explodey bits there for sure, like generators. Or even if you don't need a generator, you can always put in some kind of an important module, like a chameleon, and kind of hide it under there. Sometimes you do want to make a long boy with lots and lots and lots of wheels. So you do something like this. But what happens if you lose one frame? Uh, you usually you lose everything. So you kind of have to do the same thing when making these long boys. Is use some redundancy and try to protect as many wheels as you can. So let's do this again, shall we? So we have to think about how do we connect all these wheels but not lose them all by losing one frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a solid core to attach the frames that will attach all these wheels. Thank goodness for these long thin ones over here. And now I'll attach each wheel to its own separate frame. And I can make it a small light frame. They probably won't be shot until the wheel is shot itself. There you go. Now let's just practice taking off some bits, shall we? So if I lose this wheel, I'm fine. If I lose this wheel, I'm fine. Now I might lose this center frame, in which case this one is gone. Not so bad. I can lose this one over here, and I still have everything. So that's not too bad, because I can get shot in all kinds of ways, but not lose all my wheels until everything else is gone. Yep, and just practice randomly ticking off stuff and just see, well, what do I lose? Not a whole lot, then you're doing okay. So I think that should help a lot. Sometimes you want to show off with some inverted wheels, but you have to be careful because in this case, your frames are really exposed, whereas normally your wheels actually provides armor for your frames. So one hit to the side and it's all over. So in this case, again, you might want to use some different smaller frames to make sure that if one is gone, you don't lose the whole thing. And then I would either add some kind of bumpers just to protect the frame. It's a little dicey, but you could also use some armor to protect the frame as well. Or you can try to protect it with other frames and then you can bumper that one. But again, this is a little risky to do inverted wheels. And remember, this frame over here, if that thing has gone from below, then you do lose, then you lose everything as well. So let's put in some more redundancy over here with a frame over here. Whoa, I'll move the cab up one and then I'll get a frame over here. So that is connected. So I'm just double safe and First of all, for symmetry, and secondly, for protection, you can always put another frame over here to protect your wheels, and also so your enemy won't know which side would take out all your frames that the wheels are attached. And you can even stagger your wheels. So if you lose one side, you still got the other. So that will definitely challenge your parts limit, but if it'll save your tires, you will definitely be in the game for a lot longer. With tracks, I'd usually do the same thing, and that is to connect them by many different frames if possible. So with armored tracks, I probably want to have frames connecting them. I'll probably need an exploity bit in the middle, and then put another frame in the front. And now let's just practice. So if I lose this frame, yipes. Okay, well, I better move this one back a little bit. And now let's try that again, shall we? Okay, lose this frame, good. So if this blows up, it's hopefully not to going to explode 
all the frames at once, I'll still have the one in the back. And it never hurts to have another frame, just in case you get shot from the back, then you're pretty much okay. Let me know in the comments if there are any other tips that you would like, because I can do it! Bye everyone! Don't drop that duck, duck. Hey, don't drop that duck.